Aha, you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liu at Qixing would hide the Jiu Archon's vessel. So, where is- He certainly is. Come, I took the liberty of setting up a business day. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. <sighs> Hi. <sighs> hmm? <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Indeed, Wang Chung's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Walk in the shadows? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard... Discretion? Shadows? Indeed. It is... <coughs> the Wongsheng Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that the... <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does- Well, they are still. Ah, uh, I shouldn't say too much. Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang, but first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say. Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us, so the times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Decide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the- Well, if you really think of- Indeed, no amount of consideration can change this outcome. The Tianchuan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of me- Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. If we are agreed, come with me. We- All right, my bridge building work here is done. You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have... My...
After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? <laughs> I see, but I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Liyue's 3,700 years of divinity. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your trip. Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no- Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng funeral. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the right- I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only- these are the advance funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our prep... Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck bet? It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows? Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... Noctilucus Jade, of Radiant Grade at the very least. Radiant Grade, Noctilucus Jade? I see, you're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look- These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the- But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Oh? You want meat? If it were me, the answer would be si- Oh? And I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such pen- Oh, wait, wait, boss! That one didn't count! Oh. Hey! If we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Oh, Mora. Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect. Huh? How do you know- If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one- Uh- All Mora is currency. What? Is this how the rich- Well, he knows a lot about big money. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by more evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you if you return to those crafty merchants to quibble. They will counter by saying that your crafting bench Whoa! To think it's that e But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? 
If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing the patterns, the facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light. Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might... We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... well... How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. Don't worry. I know the rules. As long... All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. <laughs> oh, you flattered me, but I have to be gentle with if I'd taken off even a... But wouldn't something this thin... It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous... What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to re... Oh! <laughs> Strictly speaking... Asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Tra well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. You mean at one mean restaurant? That would not do. It is a place where people come and go. They- Oh, Paimon remembers! We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the- now, let's pack those...
It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Is this an answer from this world? are still using it. It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line. We're ready to go! Paimon will help remember which... Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get... Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is, so... Ruin their food! 
You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them? Exactly. That's the one. No problem. If you have your eye on this, then we'll take a box of the third. Done. All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but hmm, I suppose. Parting. Oh dear. I. Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has... It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to... Are you sure? You didn't want to even... If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. 
No proprietor could earn money. Oh, I'm sure. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchant. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like? Now that we've made our choice. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do as I thought. I. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest. Well, it's settled then. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. <laughs> I. Join the Adventurer's May the Lord of Geo We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that... Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we can't do anything else. I'll... Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu Echising have- But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the- Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, also the- Traditionally, we call it- Ah, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden- One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably... Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily... Golden app. The only mint in Liu. 
Which is to say the only mint into that. All the more... Oh, no! Diamond wasn't thinking about anything bad. But why do you know that... Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Chi Thing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives, but this in Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where'll we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers... Silk flower petals contain a fiber... It's time for Zhang Li's lec... <laughs> we shall not speak... from this world? Is this an answer from this world? Hey, boss, do you sell silk flowers? Which kind? Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. A golden housemaiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. My goodness, this... You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. I'm sorry? Ah, now then. Please peruse at your leisure. Do let... Silk flowers exhibit different... Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these state by contrast. This variety thrives in any... Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today. Wow! A true connoisseur! I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Mr. Zhang Li, you're way too humble. I'll take them all, boss. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing up, but this silk flower purchase is not... Perhaps you don't know. 
Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to like several other tedious and complicated tra But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in three thousand. Now that's settled. You forgot to bring money again? <sighs> Zhong Li? Uh, if I may interject... Yes. Gosh, well, why didn't you say... It would be bad luck to say it out loud. Since these flowers will be used to glow... Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be if he hadn't written those poems and... Huh. So much folklore here. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for... Our skins? You are the one... Please, it's the... Now that we've got the flap... Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately... Talk about first world... Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. So this time, we get to go around town? I will wait for you near the statue of the se... Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Glenn! She's master... I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, the Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flower. Aha! The tri- Uh, no, they were from a dis- Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume- The fortune teller, right? Paimon, remember- Thanks, Lon! See you- Hello. 
question. Perfume? I rarely think to use. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. That's the worst thing by. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel- Well, hello. You found me at la- What? How did you- Oh, I heard a rumor about a co Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the old- Snooping around? What- What can I say? People love to talk. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't- Three in one- You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? <clears throat> Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity- Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, Oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are de- That went over Paimon's head. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you- So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only- Somewhere closer to home will do. I've had a word with Chef Mao. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? I meant make me proud, as my assistant, while well, I'm setting up. This water will do now. I need perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own. 
Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical. People must Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Wow, this is some exquisite. The essence is placed into water. You must take care to control the heat. So please, focus on... C Don't waste a drop of that... All three perfumes are ready, and you, my friend, were a, a testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the Paima wants to hear- This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of- the second one is for those with more refined tastes. Finally, the third one has a soft but all clear. Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin them. Good. I'll leave you with some. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> Come. Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Shenley's probably been waiting a while.
compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu. <laughs> well, how can a person comp- That is true. Three sets, and- <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a- This is the second kind. It's got an elegant- the third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies... Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older... <laughs> Perhaps... Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. What a shame. <sighs> Let's hope the cheesing. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. So, we finished another step. Next, I would like the two of you to. Cleansing the. At present. A friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. Sure, but. Aren't you going? Ah, I have certain. Man, why is he? All things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the f Ah, but it's a shame. What happened to- Back in my day, people said that if they heard beautiful sounds like laugh, but if they heard- So that means these flowers- Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis- some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that this 
harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say? Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. He saw me gazing, but he told me then that if someone should come to... It has been many years, and who knows how... Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's... Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and... and um, we can have... All right, children. There is no... Uh? Do you live near here, Granny? Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Hey, and even if it was like that, it must be a... Oh, youngsters. I simply mean... Blade. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Dodge this! Don't get frostbite! Freeze! Don't push your luck! Cool it! Freeze! Ah! 
What's the hurry? Don't push your luck. Cool it. A little shock. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Go, go, Baron Bunny! Let it rain! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> go, go, Baron Bunny! Huh. Huh. Must keep draining. Thank you. 
What's the hurry? Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me... All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, as to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you are ready. Ah, Paimon kind of knows what you mean. But don't you think it's weird? Something's just... Oh, don't be silly, Leo. But no matter what, to cry... Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps... So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It... Well... You must have things to... Oh, and do tell them that if they have time, they can come over for tea. We will! 